Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Patch day. Here we are. Appus 4 just resubscribed for 12 months. Yo, can knock. Yo, what up, babe? <laughs> Thanks for the year, man. That's a long time. Dang. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope everybody's doing well. We have a new update, and with that, Wisconsin Dockyard's here. They did a good job with camo. Yeah, this is a pretty nice camo. Pretty good one. And there's your normal one, which also is pretty nice. This probably looks better in a darker port. What about this one? Oh yeah, there you go. Feels like cheating to do dockyard missions in asymmetric, right? Isn't it good? It's so good. I mean, that's I'm I go over it in tomorrow's video, but this is like better than I could have hoped for for dockyard missions. These are amazing. Very, 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 very good. It's it's a it's a decent ship. You get a mid tier premium. You get two months to do it, and the missions aren't insane. It's it's nice. Really nice. Uh, just remove all these. There we go. There we go, there we go. Camo available for dockyard? Yes. This is the camo you'll get when you finish the dockyard. I think. I'm pretty sure you get it. I'm pretty sure you get it. So the dockyard is only free if you have the West Virginia. So you can see if you already have it, you'll get three shipbuilding phases. And you only need two shipbuilding phases to actually complete the Wisconsin dockyard. Up, Schneider. Yeah, I already checked them. So it now shows that Cecilia can shoot its guns when it can actually shoot its guns, uh, which is good. And you get your rear turrets to 6.2 kilometers instead of 7.2. So it's slightly better. But you still don't get them at super close range. And for whatever reason... This back turret can't fire, even though it looks like it should be able to. That's my complaints about it. Yeah, there is one... Oops, that's not where the missions are. The thing about the last mission is you have more time to complete it, assuming you're doing the missions each week, right? Right, so you have 60,000 base XP to get in any game mode, which is nice, including clan battles even. Um, so this unlocks in a month and 17 days, and then you'll have some time to complete it. A little over a week, I guess. So they didn't do the trick? No. But it is better. It's a kilometer better. What's up, Evil? Hello, Sam. Watch the Wisconsin video. Can't wait to get your hands on it. Yeah. I think a lot of people are going to be able to get the Wisconsin, too. I don't see it being too difficult to grind this out for this ship.
You have West Virginia 44. How do you get the phases? Uh, so you have to wait until you... Um, Mortis 007 just resubscribed for 17 yo, months. Hello, PQ. 17, Mortis. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, guys. Appreciate those subs. Hope you're all having a great day. So the the you get your three shipbuilding phases for owning West Virginia 44 when you get the 20th phase. So essentially, the game tries to give you the West Virginia 44, but then it realizes you have the ship already and then gives you the three shipbuilding phases instead is how it works. So you don't get them right away, only once you reach phase 20. But if you already have it, yeah, don't don't buy the starter pack. You just you get those shipbuilding phases for free once you reach this point. Oh yeah. No problem, Bloodhound. The the game can be a little confusing sometimes, so double checking before you make some purchases is always a good idea. Wisconsin worth getting if you already have Slava? Uh, yeah, it's a different playstyle. I'd say so. Uh, what I didn't look at was... Battle Pass. Thousand doubloons at the end? What? 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,500? What? So it's free? If you complete the battle pass? Huh? Is that how it, wait. Is that how battle passes usually are in other games? I don't really play other games with battle passes. This is like my one free-to-play heavy monetized game. <laughs> but in other games, is that normal? That it pays that battle passes generally pay for themselves by the end? It's not normal in this game, but does like Fortnite or Apex or I don't know, pick a free-to-play game. Do they do that? Yes, yes, they'll do that. Some games do that. Okay. That would be a cool change. Um, I won't have near the expectations on this battle pass system if the you gain the currency back. No, I, I get the battle passes for free, yeah, because I'm a CC, but... For a normal player, if you were to buy into this and complete it, you get the money back. Or the, not the money, the doubloons back. That's cool. Then it's just like this is some decent rewards for playing the game. And I'm okay with it. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Yeah, it's like encouraging people to log in and play the game. And then the dockyard becomes your main, like older style battle pass where you have to buy into it a little bit and you get a bigger reward at the end. Okay. Okay. I'm good with that. What's up, Mate? I'm doing well today. Doing very well. Welcome here. Games like Fortnite, Battle Pass, you might be paid, and then some. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's only your case and some other people. Most of them get coal after pay 1250 what wait what you only get 1250 doubloons for completing the battle pass so you don't see two of these 500 doubloon ones it's random, not everyone gets their 100% value back? What? Really? Was that in the article?
Huh. It wasn't. It's random. Why is it random? Uh, I don't say any more about it. Weird, man. Very weird. So instead of 2,500 doubloons... Oh, whoops, wrong button again. So instead of 2,500 doubloons, what do you guys see? What's the alternate? Are there many alternates, or is there one... Or are there two options? That's so weird. Twelve K coal. Is that at the end instead of uh, this one? Twelve K coal instead of the one K doubloons. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Is that good? I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. You have 12k coal and the 2500 doubloons? What? Wait, do I have it? Am I just not seeing it? No. Oh no, I do. Huh? So did some of you just get screwed? <laughs> oh no, man. Oh no, what is this? Oh yeah, okay. There's the thing on Reddit. There's two versions? You get two times 12k coal. Okay, okay. So it really is the doubloons for another 12k coal option hmm 12k coal is not that much buying for the first time this year is free I guess well it's free if you get the 2500 doubloons it's free but also you have to complete this battle pass I don't think I finished the last one I did take a week and a bit off, though, but I don't know how easy it is to finish. It's fine to offer multiple tracks. Sucks you can't choose which one you get. Yeah, I agree with that completely. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it would have been cool to have a choice at the end. You can choose doubloons or coal. I don't know. Hmm. Do we have the missions for the dockyard yet? Yes, we do. And they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I think the missions aren't too, too difficult to complete outside of one of the last ones. But even that one, you get a little more time. You choose which one you want, no one would say anything, but this is just dumb. Yeah, I think they're trying to test. Like, they must be testing which one people will buy more of. Are people interested in... Like, they're probably thinking, are people more interested in in-game resources or the potential? Because it's not guaranteed you're going to get your doubloons back. Uh, but the potential that it's a free battle pass... Yeah, the battle pass only lasts for the patch, the golden week thing, 34 days. But dockyard lasts for two months, two patches.
Yeah, honestly, that's a good point. You, you probably... There's no bonus, is there? Right, they got rid of the pre the ultra premium one, right? So there's no difference between paying now and paying later. So you may as well just do the free one, and then if you make it to the end, you just buy it and get this stuff for free. I suppose that's there. Dockyard is 90 days, but the missions are only there for 60 days, or 62 days. So be careful with that. It says it's available for three months, but it's only available for that last month for you to make up your mind if you want to buy the end of it. That's how the dockyards usually work. So make sure you can finish those last missions in, the, in two months. That's the key there. All right, let's play some games. That's, uh, yeah. It seems, it seems like it's going to be a decent dockyard, though. Dockyards are not connected to the battle pass. They're separate. Dockyard's its own thing. Battle pass, its own thing. Yeah. Good luck, blood. I can only pick one to play for the rest of U.S. top tier BB career. Ohio, Monty, Whiskey, or Maine? Uh, it's between Ohio and Maine, probably. Complete the entire first Dockyard mission in two hours of gameplay? Yeah. Yeah, the early ones certainly are... Not too difficult to get through. Yeah. Yeah, we we saw the missions. Um, they're not bad. It's only the last phase. There's one on the last phase that is 60k base XP. But for the most part, for the most part, you can complete them in any game mode you want to, including asymmetric. So... If you're getting tilted at randoms or something like that, and you just want to chill and play the game but still grind out missions, just go play asymmetric. And you, you can get progress there too. Which is really cool. Do I get steel out of the dockyard without paying? Yes. You get whatever's in the main track for steel. There's usually some in the main track for steel before you get the ship. And then if you've got... Assuming you have West Virginia 44, you get one extra shipbuilding phase, which usually gives you 250 steel at the end. That's the only way to get the one over without paying. But there's some steel in the middle, pretty sure. It usually is. It's half, though? Is it half the rewards in Asymmetric? Only for the first half of the dockyard? Oh, I'll have to look at that again. I thought it was for all of it. That could be my bad. Why release a nice dockyard when I'm writing my thesis? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. One or steel phase eight? Okay. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Ship is on fire. Torpedoes dead ahead. Start. 
Ah, I made this poor play. I wanted to turn all the way. Whoops. Oh well. Go next moment, that's fine. Try again. Oh wait, I need to check, I need to check. No, asymmetric's at the end. Hello? It's at the end. You're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? It's very, it's very good. It's very, 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 very good. Are asymmetric for two months? Oh, that's a good question. No. Oh, you're right. I'm wrong. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are correct. I'm wrong. My bad. Sorry about that. Why is it... Uh... Oh, my goodness. Missions aren't there. Why is it... Showing you can do them in there. Are they bringing it back? Unless they're bringing it back for the next update? Maybe? Zach underscore J32 that is weird. just resubscribed for 34 months. Hmm. Hope things are well. Yeah, things are going great, Zach. Thanks for 30 more months, man. <laughs> That's a long time, dude. Hope you're having a great day. We're, we're having a good time here. It'll be back next patch. I hope so. I hope so. Because I think that's a big part of why this dockyard's going to be so good for most people, I think. Is... Being able to grind out some of these missions in Asymmetric, just chill out, put on a podcast, or listen to some music, have some beer with your friends and just game for a bit without, like, really having to worry about, you know, optimizing random battles. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I did set it up. Good. Good, good, good. Did I whale Wisconsin? No. I'm a CC. They give me stuff. They give me stuff. Yeah, I hope they bring it back then. That'd be really sad. If you couldn't complete some, especially some of those later ones that are a little bit more. Centauros 2012 just subscribed. Yo, Centauros, thank you for the Prime as well. Lots of subs, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. You whaled it, Chief? Oh boy. Are you enjoying it? I hope you enjoy. Uh, someone in chat was writing a thesis, uh, Thog Drake, in Twitch chat. Not me. Not smart enough to get that far in school. Mortis 007 just gifted one subs. Yo, Mortis. Look at the gift sub, man. Dang. How many subs? Thank you, thank you. Action four Wisconsin's in your first game randoms this morning. None were CC's, yeah. Well, there's four in this game. <laughs> Today's payday. Ooh. Well, don't spend it all on me. Make sure you cover you got yourself covered. But I appreciate it. It's a real Iowa class BB. It's Giga Whale Bait. It really is, yeah. It really is. 
The only thing that would have made it more bait is if it was uh, New Jersey, I think, considering they were uh, moving it into dry dock, right? How much is the Wisconsin? I don't know how much it is to whale, but it's 3,200 doubloons minimum. Unless you've got Wisconsin or West Virginia, 44, then you can get it for free. Well, outside of your time investment. Fifty-six k dubs, if you don't have West Virginia, 44. Okay. Okay. You like asymmetric to try boats? Would never do it in randoms? That's fair. Asymmetric's fun. It's nice and chill. Uh, my team is nowhere to be found here. Uh, I should not be pushing this. Let's stop. Wait, is he gonna push out? Hold on. Let's just turn out. We don't have a citadel. Let's just turn out. Yugumo, sure. Come on, Petro. Give me a chance. Ah, oh, he's too smart. Oh, he's not. Ah, uh, he angles in time. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, he's in such a bad position. That That is a case of new ship must shoot at syndrome right there. Cruiser Dispersion, lol. Hope rewards for asymmetric in terms of credits will be okay. Ah, uh, they might be bad. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Because I think they overdid it last time, right? How is he not dead? Oh no! Oh no! How is he not dead though? And you just hate to see it. Petros, man. Permanent gold camo? I don't know. I don't really care about camos that much. I like the historical-ish looking ones. I like the, I don't know. I don't really care about the over the top ones as much. Seven thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an okay ship. 
It's just an okay ship. However, oh, not even a back turret, best turret option. Too bad. I was hoping. All right, we got to get over there and deal with the enemy team that is currently winning the game. Yeah, it's got 32 mil balance turn. The armor is the same as Illinois, I think. Or maybe the bow's a bit better. It's basically if you took a Missouri armor and sunk the Citadel down a few decks. Is pretty much how this thing goes. Oh, our Wisconsin's lost so much HP. Chikuma 2 get released? Uh, I think that's... an. Is that an event? I think that's an event, this update. Hold. Yeah, nice. Team's pretty good there. What the hell? 
You're there now. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes direct front. Torpedoes to port. Okay. Well, that wasn't very fun. Yeah, the secondaries are just normal. It's... It's not a very good ship. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it could be better in a lot of ways. In many ways, it certainly could be better. <laughs> oh, we didn't get that, okay. Hmm. All right, let me try, let me try main. See if we get a game today. Cecilia remain. I might not. I don't think I'm going to play Cecilia today. We'll see. Is it just me? Is the is the uh, Wisconsin working well for you? Solitary Saga. It doesn't work that well for me. I find it's. It's basically a Iowa. Don't have it yet. Others have been doing well. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Main's funny button is a bit of tankiness and a bit of A. So it's all right. It's all right. Lemon Law Protection. I don't know if it would apply to this game, unfortunately. Maine is Montana's super ship. I can't queue ranked in test ships, no. Awaiting instructions. But I guess I could take uh, Wisconsin in now. But it's out. No, Vermont doesn't get one yet. No, I'm not out of DDs. Um, I just haven't been playing them because they we've had a lot of new stuff to take a look at that are cruisers or battleships. Vermont nerfed recently? No.
BFK is just at 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 heart. BFK is a farmer, and he really enjoyed the Vermont when it would give him the dev strikes. But it hasn't been doing that recently. It's just battleships. Battleships are always going to be frustrating to play because of their dispersion. Dank Dealer 79 just resubscribed for four months. Ooh. Four is better than zero. Four is better than zero. <laughs> Thank you for the four months, Dank Dealer. Appreciate it, man. Hope you're doing well. Let's make sure. Nice. So, all of our battleships are coming this way. Does that mean I have to go to the other side? Van Znacker just resubscribed for five months. And Van Snacker. You have the five months, man. Gotta hit them back here when they're turning out. Bullseye. Bullseye. Eight over nine. Zippers on fire. That's a lot. Appreciate the five months, Snagger. Appreciate that's that's really kind, guys. Hopefully y'all enjoy the update. Should be good. Dockyard should be good at least. Nearly got him. Fletcher is in a pretty bad position now, unfortunately. Not much I can do to help him there. And we won't get spotting on Jalan. Okay, let's focus over here. Do an asymmetric for Dockyard, saves you the stress. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, main gets the improved heal, like... Oh, what? Whose torps are these? Hmm. A little spooky. Can we not do 20k to my superstructure over and over again? Please. Man, I'm 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 pretty unlucky. Seems seems like pretty unlucky. Oh my goodness. What is your plan? Again, you gotta hit him in the back. Enemy severely damaged. Zippers on fire. Damn it, man. He just can't hit just can't get a sitter though. Just can't do damage. Again. Are are you is this is the Monty really just sitting there waiting to shoot me all game? Is that it? Brutal. I'm not even in the new ship right now. GK broadside. Twenty three, that's it, man. All right. Problem solved, sir. Okay.
Okay, there we go. We got a good salvo. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Good. Forty K, please. Twenty three. Disappointing. Close. No way. One. Yeah, that's a Confederate, though. That'll help. Mostly unhealable. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Blind shots, huh? Could have been a lot worse. It's very hard to do damage to light cruisers as a battleship. Okay, a little better. A little better. When's the last day to buy the early starter packs? I think you... Uh, it's, it's a certain number of phases. Earned. Like three phases? Five phases? Five phases? Something like that. He turned back. All right, I have to hope some go low. They did not. What are they doing over there?
close. Five phases this time? Okay. Good to know. Nice work, team. Close game. Which is good. What's not so good is my gun's doing zero damage to people. That's less good. Makes it hard to enjoy. Hello, uh, Hazim Burn Burned? Welcome here. Is there gold? I just... What's up, Schwagens? Welcome. Yeah, is there, there might be a cap over here. Yeah, and that's the Citadel you're gonna give me, Wargaming? Hmm. I guess I'll take it. Battle ends in five minutes. No, I think we got full damage out of that citadel. potential damage too that's a nice thing even in games like this you just do a lot by soaking so much damage The problem isn't the damage or the awards, guys. The problem is the, the actual individual salvos not being able to... Not being able to do decent damage to a broadside GK who's just sitting still. Um, the Yoda was angled, so I guess that's fine. But this Guden, for sure. Very annoying. Very annoying. Not even running a meme build, man. I'm not even running a meme build in Wisconsin is just kind of disappointing. I don't know. Default Wisconsin camo? Uh, that's in the videos. You can see those on YouTube. Or if you remind me again uh, when we're in port. 
How grindy are the dockyard missions? Not grindy at all, I think. They're actually pretty easy until you get to like the last few. And then you have more than a week to finish the last few. So I think it's pretty easy. If you're playing the game a lot, that is. Or a, re a reasonable amount. It, it, it's, it's pretty standard missions to maybe a little easier missions. I don't know. What's special about this ship? You get Battlecruiser Dispersion, you get 2.0 Sigma. So my salvos should be 20 to 30% more accurate than in uh, Iowa. You get combat instructions that give you a, essentially a French reload booster and the San Martin consumable reload booster as well. And your Citadel is so far below water, you're never taking Citadels. You, should, you shouldn't be taking Citadels. <laughs> so it's, it's a super Iowa, basically, with a reload booster. Consumables come back quick from the gimmick. And very accurate guns. That's what it's supposed to be. In practice, it's been basically an Iowa with a consumable or this reload booster that's hit and miss. It's pretty difficult to farm it up consistently. What is Sigma? Mm. Dispersion is pretty complicated in this game, the way it's calculated, but Sigma is Pretty, a simplified way of thinking about it is the bigger the sigma number is, the more likely the shells are to go to the middle of your dispersion ellipse. So the dispersion number in port is your horizontal dispersion. There's a hidden value that gives you the vertical dispersion. You draw a circle or an ellipse based on that on the water. And then the sigma parameter impacts how likely the shells are to go to the middle is how I think about it. So you want both. You want good dispersion, but you also want high sigma. In my experience though, dispersion values are more important than sigma values. But this one getting Battlecruiser Dispersion and the American upgrade is a pretty big deal. Really? He goes dark. So disappointing. And our Takahashi's down. Okay. Sure. Pretend he's there. Patch day, I guess. Not allowed to have fun on a patch day. Bullseye. 
Bullseye. This is a really bad ship, guys. It's a, it's a bad ship. It is a bad ship. It's it belongs at tier nine, and even then, it probably isn't even as good as a Missouri. Two hits. Pretty good. Not a great hit, right? Uh, I can't control things like that, Alberto. It's one of the... It's a reality of doing YouTube videos. Nothing I can do about it. Maybe it's supposed to be a backline HE farmer. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's let's see. Is it really that bad today? Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting games where I can't even charge a funny button up. My ship won't hit any shells. Ship won't hit any shells. So. I'm basic. I'm basically playing in Iowa at tier 10. Is what I'm coming down to. The official stream will say a lot of things. <laughs> Basically the same name, that's crazy. Okay. 
So why isn't that happening in game? <laughs> ah, I see. Hang on a second. Tin for hat time. Tin for hat time. Tin for hat time, guys. Tin foil hat time. All right. Uh, let me restart my game, and I may just happen to not have any mods installed once I restart my game. And then we'll try again. Okay. Nah, I haven't been able to try against other Wisconsins, but I've played against Illinois enough to know that I can't Citadel in Illinois, so I won't be able to Citadel a Wisconsin. Hard for you to play battleships with less than 12 guns. Now you played Monty in Vermont, yeah. I think, in generally, I think 12 guns is kind of the sweet spot for this game. It seems to have the best, the, the most impactful salvos on average. 16 is too many. Although Maine is making a case for it. Um, but 12 is kind of where it's, you still retain good dispersion and Sigma parameters, but then you just have enough volume to do pretty well or better than, you know, six and eight gun battleships. What's up, Beard and Sunshine? Petro's trolley. Petro has a higher citadel than most in this game right now. Petro's what we went to after Montana was deemed to have too small a citadel. We can't just test against Minotaurs, guys. <laughs> we can't we can't just test against Minotaurs. Cause that is not what we're fighting. You know? This isn't, like, a scientific thing either, by the way. My goal is not to, like, scientifically prove if this ship has good or bad dispersion. My goal is to figure out if I should be tilted or not based on the salvos I'm seeing in randoms. That's what I want to know. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just bad. Maybe it's just bad.
Just test all the American battleships for giggles? I did that yesterday. And Wisconsin looked the same, or maybe even slightly worse than a Missouri. Okay, there we go. Enemy cruiser Smells like a rug pull. Ship's not performing like you've seen in other streams. Yeah, I might just have a defective unit. I don't know. I actually don't understand it. Because I've, I've watched Malta play it. I've watched his video on it. Looks pretty good. There we go. It's a little more get reasonable dispersion. Let's see what damage it gets. It's okay. Dispersion was good at least. Didn't look like a shotgun. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. What else could I change? What else can I change here? No mods. Enemy heavily damaged. Is it that I've unlocked my frame rate to my monitor's frame rate? Do I need to turn that off? <laughs> Repair the game? You know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should. I can't remember the last time I did that. Performing this repair will take additional time. All right. Okay. Yeah, I've got range in slot three. I've got accuracy. I've got, I've got it. Is my ping meaningfully different than Malta's? I don't think so. On NA, I've got like 30 to 35 millisecond ping. I don't know. I don't understand. What would Slava do? It might, it'd probably do pretty good. Upper belt is not gonna help. If we want citadels and dev strikes, we need to aim for citadels and dev strikes. Starlink nerf? Uh, I haven't had Starlink for years. I'm on, I'm on fiber. No, that's not at all what I want, bingo. I don't care about realism, but that wouldn't be a fun game a gameplay experience where every battleship is pinpoint accurate. The overmatch would just be too unfun to play against. It'd be awful. Superstructure hits, all that stuff. It's It would suck. But guys, I'm I'm aiming for the waterline citadel, and my shells are going over the ship sometimes, and other times it's landing short. Like we we have to aim for what we want. And okay, that's done. Let's see. Let me just make sure the frame rate thing is normal. What's it normally capped to? Seventy five.
Okay, 75 it is. And we've run that. Okay. Yeah, there's no stream because the game's closed. How are the games going? They're not going very well. <laughs> Malta said anything about it? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know, though. His Wisconsin was looking good. Yeah, definitely, definitely not as high a frame right now. Like that should be the build. Yeah, Malta's been crushing people. The only thing that stops Malta's Wisconsin is submarines. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the only thing that can stop Malta's Wisconsin. <laughs> Poor guy. The RNG is yeah, it, it is by design, Zamp for sure. But I I seem to be getting it worse than other people who are playing this game. At least is what it seems, so... Spend an entire stream saying nice things about Wargaming in the game, see if it changes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that'll do it. I think... I had an insane... Well, it's that uh, 8 Citadel video I made. 8 Citadels in one stream... Or 8 Dev Strikes, not Citadels. 8 Dev Strikes in one stream. I got that stream the first day I got back from snowboarding. All right, 75? Yeah, 75. Good. Okay, what if it was the frame rate? Enemy heavily damaged. We didn't dev strike him, but that's very nice dispersion. I get bored though, guys. I can't hand I can't handle sniping. If anything, though, shouldn't that help me land more hits on people? If I'm more aggressive? Sure, I'm liable to die sooner. But if I'm not dead early, shouldn't I be hitting more shells at closer ranges? It take Yeah, those are great. Both those salvos, excellent. disappointing but the the accuracy was decent what do i think about hayate for a coal ship uh it's really good with the new buff it's actually really strong dd if you're looking for uh something that can dump torps like a shima every once in a while but has better guns it's really good wow that was a big delay from clicking to shooting Whoa, what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> um, that was like half a second, yeah? That was like half a second. A little disappointing, but it's still reasonably tight.
That's weird, man. Because I have fiber right into my apartment, man. Like, it's literally in the other next room over. Hmm. Is it just me, or is the dispersion looking tighter? Even if our salvos aren't, like, dev strikes here, it's looking better. <laughs> uh, that tinfoil hat is firmly... Firmly on my head now. <laughs> Looks the same? I don't know. Maybe. Alright, let me try it. Not really. Uh, I'm trying to be positive here, man. I'm trying to gaslight myself into thinking it's okay. <laughs> oh, man. Looks same-ish. Yeah, you guys are probably right. You guys are right. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Characteristic of battle cruiser, narrow horizontal, wider vertical. Yeah, I guess so. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. The battle starts. PQ, can we play Slava? We have Slava at home. Oh, Wisconsin. <laughs> it's actually a perfect way to describe this ship, actually. It's hilarious. Enemy severely damaged. Two. What's up, Birdie? Yeah, we're back in the training room. We're back in the training room so that I don't lose my mind in random battles. Ooh, yes. More of that, please. Confirmed penetration. Really? That's still not a dev strike? Maybe it is. Maybe maybe you are just supposed to aim center mass. Let's aim here. Upper belt. This should be too high. Watch it dev strike. I'd be so mad. <laughs> That's better than anything before it. That's so frustrating. Why learn how to aim when the game will just pull your shells where it wants to put them? Target penetrated. Why aim? Why aim at all? Let's just let's just third person people. Why aim at all? <laughs> it's about as good as me trying to hit waterline citadels. Oh yeah, you could we could do that. Where it's like like this or something. I forget actually how it's done. Something like that.
No, that did go high. It just doesn't seem to matter. And that's really annoying. It should matter. How does aiming even work in this game? I don't know. Not well. <laughs> Not well. Some of those salvos last time certainly looked better. The grouping was really nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tester. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to know too. Oh, what was the... Oh, yeah, okay. The other thing I need to try is setting my resolution down to 1080p. A little bit high, but not too much. Yeah, that's worse. It doesn't... The result isn't worse, but it looks worse. That looks the same. That looks as good as our best. It's just like it doesn't matter. It's like they it's like they forgot to change it to battle cruiser dispersion. Is it am I insane? Maybe it's like that North Carolina buff that didn't actually go through. Like did they just not give Wisconsin the dispersion buff it's supposed to have? Look! Look Look at it! To quote the great Flamu. I don't understand, man. I don't understand, man. I don't understand. That's depressing, man. Didn't even know I switched ships, exactly. Try relock, I am. Every salvo, I'm smashing my spacebar. Okay, that was a bad one. That was a bad one. That was pretty bad, too. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, wait. I wanted to try... Uh, one more thing. One more thing. Hold on. One more. We'll go back to playing the game. Hopefully this doesn't mess up 
like, oh yeah, okay, it works. Hello? UI scale? What? There's no way that's 100% UI scale. Okay, there we go. What if running the game at 4K is too high a resolution for the aiming system to actually calculate things properly based on your aim point? What if it needs bigger pixels? to know where you're aiming, and otherwise it just randomly doesn't give you lock-on dispersion. Hmm? <laughs> I sound insane. Don't I? I know, Alka. I did try. I did try it before. Full 240? We could give it a go. We could give it a go. Does it really calculate in 4K? Probably not, no. Probably not. Harder to see where the water line is. Please don't. I don't want to play at 1080p. Okay, good. Okay. Is this a rerun from yesterday? No. No. It's just, I'm going insane in random battles. Okay, it doesn't look any different. Jeez, that is that UI scale. Is it really okay? <laughs> uh oh. Enemy cruiser sunk. Maybe this game really is just esports ready. Maybe this game is just so esports ready that it's like Counter Strike, where all the pros play it. I don't even know what the res is. It's like some stretched res. It's like 480p stretched or something like that. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Ten twenty four seven eight six eight stretch. There it is. Oh my goodness, why is the UI laggy too? Why is the UI so laggy? No, 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 no. No, don't give me the best dispersion when it looks absolutely trash. 4090 doing what it's born to. Yeah, what? I wonder what it's at. GPU utilization, 14%. That's probably for the stream encode, I 
if I had to guess. Mm. 79 watts. There you go. CPU is bound? Nah, it's capped to 75. Oh, okay, so you can get bad salvos when you just run the worst settings ever. Okay, nice. How did I have this before? Was it on Forex? Sometimes they don't always put them all the way up. Uh, did the UI scaling not go? Did I have it on 175? Yeah, that looks right. Enemies severely damaged. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Why reduced fire water effects? Because it's annoying, basically. I, I don't like the way it looks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am just, ah. But it, it seems to do better on other people's streams, but maybe that's just confirmation bias? I don't know. Maybe I'm just way too critical of these ships when I'm playing them, and other people when they're playing them are more relaxed or less concerned about each individual salvo, so then it's less noticeable. I don't know. No mod to display RNG per shot? No, I don't think so. No bias, but you notice it, yeah. But I, I do get some decent salvos, so I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll try and just play really passive to start. It's probably a good idea considering there's a super carrier. Have I changed my opinion on Cecilia? Uh, not since the rankings on... Uh, oh, have I ranked those? No, I haven't actually. Um, but Cecilia's pretty good. I think uh, Ohio's just like far and away a better ship, but Cecilia's decent. It's worth getting, but not before you've got Ohio and probably Colbert. The turret angles on Cecilia didn't change much. They basically fixed 
the UI showing that you can't fire your turrets even though you could. And then it's to 6.2 kilometers now instead of 7.2 or whatever it was before. Basically the same. It is a little better, but it's basically the same. I want to play passive, and yet I'm still being pushing more aggressively. Nothing else. Ship looks great. That is true. It does look good. Already have Ohio. Yeah, if you're looking for another secondary battleship, or a brawling battleship, maybe not a secondary one. It can be solid. The smoke is fun. If I choose happiness since vacation? Uh, if you mean... You know what, screw it, we're HE this game. Uh, if you mean satisfactory, no, I haven't. Just a random pig towards us? No, he was on the surface. Feels bad. Yeah, there you go, 10k. With the HE. Hello, Ronald. Looks so bad though. Well, we got five hits at least. Get a Wisconsin spamming you with HE in your Ohio. Yeah, that's pretty rough. But that might be what this ship is about. wants me guys he's gonna blind it Okay, one. 30k there. It's pretty good. Alright. Oh, all of our battleships came over to this side again. That's bad.
ship seems to be an average battleship. Yep, that's kind of how I feel about it. It's just an average tier 10 and Monty's better. Yep. Gimmicks aren't enough to uh, save it. Uh, it's mostly that this ship is really bad evil. If I want to give a hot take, I think this is one of the worst tier 10 battleships in the game. But I don't necessarily believe that. I'm just not happy with the ship at the moment. Okay, misaimed there. Monty delivers more dev strikes, more satisfying. Yep, and Monty's tankier. So yeah, it's 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 a lot to give up. Worse than Bungo? Yes, Bungo is very strong, guys. Hoping that guy would get lit. Too bad. Please. Salem. There's a Mecklenburg there. Yeah, we got um. Enemy aircraft carrier sunk. Why didn't he? Did he? Does he not have a radar for the TD? Problem solved, sir. Why did he push in then? I thought he had a radar. kills us. Oh, it didn't. We got lucky. Nice. Ooh, we go dark even. Take that. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedo 
Bravos, direct front. Nice, thanks, Monty. Should I just shot the HE? And then we get a salvo like that, man. One fifty, four kills, four citadels. It's all right. Like maybe my expectations are just way too high. But it really doesn't feel different from playing in Iowa or Missouri. Still good, but not tier 10. Should be hyper accurate, I agree. That was uh, arm races, arms race as well. So we had some other buffs. Hmm. How are the guns treating me today? Um, okay. Not great, to be honest, but we'll go with all right. Let's see what Monty does. Been playing a lot of Wisconsin, so. And I've been mostly saying it's bad compared to Montana, so we should probably play Montana. Well, the thing is, 
a lot of other CCs and people who have the ship already are doing very well in Wisconsin. The dispersion's very good, and the reload booster is very useful too for them. So it's it's strange. It, it's like I've got I don't know. I'm just getting unlucky for like 20 games now. Wow. Maybe 16, 16, 17 out of 20 games, something like that. <laughs> Action stations. Yeah, hopefully we can sit it out of Wisconsin if we find them. No, I expect more from the boat from the paper stats. Battlecruiser Dispersion, 2.0 Sigma, Borgon Reload Booster, San Martin, Consumable Reload, Underwater Citadel. It, How is that not nuts, right? That's the thing. It should be insanely good. And the reason I bring up other people is that I felt like I was going insane, so I had to go look at what others were doing, specifically Malta, but people in chat have been saying some other people are also having a better time in it than I am, so. But I've, I've, I just watched some of the Malta streams and uh, video to see. a lot here. Teens, pretty good there. Turns in. Ooh. That does avoid it. He lived. Took a lot of damage, but he did live. So Ohio, get him. Nice, good work. Turn out.
close. It's good damage. We're not detected. Oh, I missed. Dang it. from four full pens. Was that a citadel at that angle? I can heal a lot of that, but... Ah. That was a citadel. Maybe I'm just really unlucky, guys. Maybe, maybe Wisconsin is actually just good, and I'm just really unlucky. <laughs> yeah, it was the Citadel. Can't heal anymore. Yeah, our Monty Dispersion's not looking very good this game either. So, hmm. Shouldn't, like, Monty should be doing better than this, I think. Maybe I'm just, like, hella delusional. But I feel like Monty should be doing better than this. we had a good team this one it's a pretty disappointing Monty spotter plane's not gonna make a difference man run it down and schlieffen yeah that's probably what I should be doing then. Eighty eight. Hmm. That's a bad game. I mean, I do have an accuracy upgrade. The increase, the, the improvement to dispersion with spotter plane up is so minor. It won't be helping these salvos. It's very, very, very minor. Try again.
At least we get the other side this time. Yoshinos? Those like to go broadside. Don't like this map? Yeah, me neither. Don't like this one either. Play a game of Bryson? Uh, no, I don't really want to play a less accurate battleship right now. Best battleship in the game, Montana. I hope so. Hopefully we can do it. He's gonna force into Minnow AA? Oh, it's an Akamov. I guess he just gets away with it. Fair enough. No, Yoshi's the other side. Feels bad. I have a bad feeling about this. That the Nakamov is just gonna come out here until we're dead. Oh, Slava. All right, time to get smashed. Yep. That is a crazy lucky salvo out of him. At that range, and to be turning out like that. The aim bugs usually take over. And mean you don't hit anything. But. Hey guys, don't worry. Monty's got a very small citadel. We shouldn't be testing against it in training rooms. You can't reliably hit it. At 15, 10 to 15. Don't worry guys. I remember. Enemy heavily damaged. Four hits there is good. It's just, it's just not my day, I guess. That's fine. Literally waiting for me, man. How'd that go high? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm actually gonna lose my mind. This Slava is just waiting for me only. And I'm doing literally zero. Because the gun is 
It's like the game is pulling my shells away from people and pulling everybody else's shells into my citadel. It's so frustrating. Okay, he is shooting other people. Good. How fast is he going? Accelerating? Bad aim. Somebody smashed him. What am I doing? I overmatch him everywhere. Just hit him. Four shells. I guess that's fine. Our team is taking the lead. Three. Okay. Okay, gearing is here. Must have turned in. Too bad. Okay, 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 yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, good, uh, it's just like, <sighs> the feedback is just unbelievable, like they could not get less consistent if they tried, there's no way you could get any less consistent than this for feedback out of these guns, bro. There's no way.
Why did that one go that far that way? I aimed here. Maybe a bug. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting unlucky, guys. I think it's probably just that Wisconsin's real, is pretty good. I'm just having an insanely awful couple of days. Because I've played, like, in ins just a ridiculous number of Monty games, and this is not how Monty behaves. I'm just getting really unlucky. No, I'm on my normal account. On NA. Spotter returning to ship. Yeah, main main is pretty good. We're hitting things. I'm just having a really unlucky day. That's all. So maybe maybe tomorrow will be better. Hmm, what time is it even? Oh, it's five thirty. I probably should go. I'll play this last one. I'll play the last one. Um. But yeah, I should go. Hungry, yeah. And I gotta make myself some food, so it'll take a bit. Vermont, range mod. It's a lot of range. Maybe I should single fire. I've been double clicking all day.
You expect cross map dev strikes? Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen today. Oh, he slowed down a lot. Unfortunate. Serious? Only four? Only four? What the hell? Problem solved, sir. All right. Stop changing my mind. Sorry. It's hard not to when the game is just screwing me over like this all the time. Basically, the reason I'm changing my mind all the time, guys, is that overall I want to be positive. I really do. Try very hard. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. But when the game screws me. Then I changed my mind. That works. Two plane kills before he drops. And 8,000 damage into a broadside Montana. Wow. Just disgusting levels. Disgusting levels of bad damage and gameplay here. I don't know, man. I'm just cursed. I'm just cursed. I'm just cursed. Is cursed. K 
Can't even talk, man. So annoying. 8k. Ah, he's angled. Fair enough. Far back, mid enough. Oh, okay, we can end on a good note, game. We can part as friends. Please. Problem solved, sir. Didn't lead enough. Not quite. Slightly too far back. Still, there's a citadel back there, unfortunately. A certain point, like what are we doing here, man? Ship is on fire. Oh, wow. that was a citadel. One hit. damn good at this game, and yet it just screws me every single damn time. It's so tilting. It's so tilting, man. How can I lead that properly? And yet when things are spotted and just randomly just deciding to go broadside to me all the time, I do no damage every single time today. Insane, man. Turn back in. At least I got one. Of 
crazy. Nice. Good work, Slava. Uh... Yeah, I've just... I've played this game a lot, is the thing, so... Too much, probably. Too much. Please. 24. Can I be disappointed at 24? Our victory is, in sight. is that allowed? Bro just continues to sit broadside like it doesn't matter. Look at him. He does not care. Because he's never been punished in his life for sitting broadside. How'd that go so high? How'd it go so high, though? He's barely moving. Okay, 30 there is good. 30 from back turrets is good. <sighs> wow. Managed to pull 180 from that. Game said no today. Well, hopefully, hopefully we don't just get screwed that much um, tomorrow if I stream. Maybe I won't stream. Maybe I take a break tomorrow. Yeah, the Discord's locked down on purpose. I don't want to deal with moderating it. So, I'm just leaving it for now. Maybe it'll come back, maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be a Patreon thing if I ever get to building that out. Okay, well, um... At least the Dockyard missions aren't too, too bad. That's nice. Very nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. I may or may not see you tomorrow. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out.